Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. And today I have a love themed card and it's filled with hearts. And I'm gonna show how I made this watercolor background for this card and I'm using a technique called ink smooshing. And I'll, I'm also adding outline flowers uh, for an accent. So here are the beautiful flowers. It's uh, sort of like a bouquet. I'm gonna use that for the top focus. And this is the background. It's filled with hearts in a quilted pattern. I'm uh, stamping that onto watercolor paper by Ranger. I'm using watercolor by Alt New. And I have an acrylic, uh, I'm sorry, an acetate sheet of, of acetate that I'm gonna use for um, placing that watercolor down and then I'm gonna use that for ink smooshing. And so for this, um, you can either use a separate acetate sheet or a, just a plastic craft mat like on the bottom and then use that watercolor to smoosh the color right onto the watercolor stamped panel, either stamped or a blank watercolor panel and you could stamp it after. So um, I'm adding red and now I'm gonna go in with a watered down pink so I have um, water mixed with red and water mixed with pink, and I'm just making sort of dots and splashes on that. I turn over my hearts panel for the background and I place that watercolor acetate panel right over that background. Now, if you have more water placed in there with your watercolor, it will blend out a little better. So I um, just pick that acetate up and move it a little bit and add some more and I do this over and over till I get the look that I want and I really wanted more color so I'm going to go in and add more watercolor onto that acetate panel along with a little bit more water in the red and then um, I didn't do any more pink because it dries pinkish and I wanted it to be a little darker red so I added more red and then again you just place it right over there and then smoosh it around with your hands lift it up and change the pattern by just turning that acetate around and you do you just it never comes out twice the same so you just do it over and over until you get what you like now you can use multi, multiple colors on this I just like the way the red, the initial pink with the red turned out. And when it dries, it does dry to a different color, most likely lighter. And so I wanted some more interest. So I used Liquitex Basics White Acrylic Paint Splatters onto the top of that background panel. And then I just I had some that were really hard to dry. So I just blotted it off with a paper towel added some more white and now I'm adding black splatters from the alt new watercolor just to give it um, more interest in the background. Now this is a messy technique but it sure does uh, present a really pretty and interesting card. This is going to be a background and it's all dry and heat set. Now I have the stamping uh, stamped right onto, well I was going to watercolor it initially so it's stamped onto watercolor paper but regular cardstock will make it easier to trim out or fussy cut in this case. And so I placed that background panel onto a card base using some foam tape. And then I add some ad adhesive tape also to the back of that, some extra tacky tape to the back of that flower to make it uh, stay on there nicely. I layered some uh, heart dies die cuts by my creative time onto that the floral uh, bouquet there I'm just using some double-sided flat tape for the sentiment and the heart I trim that I just with scissors trimmed a little flag with the sentiment there and added it right to the center now to finish all I did was just add a few little adhesive gems and it's real sweet it's so much prettier in person but it's easy to do it's a little messy but it sure turns out nice it would be great for a wedding valentine love themes or just because 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you take a moment to subscribe. Have a great day.